Well, good evening, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with Southern Indiana Weather. A quick forecast update. We have a squall line here that has developed to our west. It is 8.06 p.m. Eastern time here. It is Saturday, April the 29th, 2017, as I'm recording this. And, of course, we had a buku of rain last night. We've had some major flooding problems uh, in parts of the area. Now it looks like we've got some more rain coming for us. Still some, uh, still some questions on how this plays out. There is a uh, severe thunderstorm watch that is actually out for parts of southern Illinois. You've got some severe thunderstorm warnings going on with this line. Uh, this one goes until uh, 845 Eastern time here for 60 mile per hour winds and quarter sized hail with this. And uh, the good news is the Evansville radar is finally back up and running. It wasn't yesterday. And so that kind of hampered our things. You can see there's some severe weather with this on this portion of the line up towards the north. Uh, as I put this here in motion for you, you can see kind of how this evolved over the course of the evening. There was even some tornado warnings here with this at one. But the biggest uh, strong part of that is actually uh, really up here in this line. And that's actually pushing up this way. What would affect most of us here in southern Indiana, uh, where I really cover, is what's going to be down here. And so uh, if there is going to be a watch extended, it may include parts of Indianapolis. We'll just kind of have to see about that as to whether they will include any of southwest Indiana down here in this or not. Uh, regardless, it looks like some rain is definitely coming our way if I just sort of zoom out here. Let's go take a look at the high res NAM and see, uh, excuse me folks here. <coughs> My apologies. Fighting a little bit of a Finding a little bit of a late season cold here, and uh, there's the squall line as it races through, and this is uh, uh, this is about three hours from now is where it was predicting. This is where we should be. This is 8 o'clock tonight here. Uh, let me get that off where you can see it a little better here. Uh, so this would be 8 o'clock tonight, and you can see it's actually, the line is actually running out ahead of what the uh, high resolution NAM was suggesting here, but the NAM suggests that it sort of breaks up as it comes into here. This would have been uh, 2 a.m. whenever it brings it into here. Uh, then tomorrow we've got another chance of some severe weather. We stay pretty much dry, some spotty showers throughout the day here, but then a line develops to our west, and here's 8 p.m. on Sunday night, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. You see a line developing and then sort of racing through the area here. Uh, damaging winds and hail would be the big threat with this if it does come up, so we'll just kind of have to monitor that. That'll be a late evening threat. No matter how you look at it, a flash flood watch sort of all out into the area here. Now, the, this map doesn't include the flash flood watch over here, but uh, that's actually in effect, too. Uh, it hasn't. It's not in effect yet. It goes into effect at midnight. But if we go to the National Weather Service in Louisville, there you can see there's the, the counties, uh, pretty much all of southern Indiana, just about underneath of this as well. Here's the Storm Prediction Center, and there's their, their mesoscale discussion saying that they may... Uh, downstream watch issuance into Indiana is possible. They have only uh, given this a, uh, well, they don't have a percent chance here, it looks like, like they, uh, like they oftentimes do. But uh, regardless, we may see a watch. We may not tonight. We will just kind of have to see. I want to really quickly just go out to the HER model, the HRRR. <coughs> high resolution rapid refresh. This is the most uh, high res model that we have. And it's a short term model. It did a absolutely pathetically terrible job on this yesterday, so we we'll take it with a grain of salt. But uh, let me get to a full view here so we can kind of see the evolution of this and how it goes out overnight. My apologies for not having this uh, loaded here. I just decided to do this video on the uh, sort of spur of the moment, uh, seeing that this uh, may come at us when it wasn't really... Uh, I'm not, I wasn't sure it would even hold up out to here. Uh, this is just one of those things. There it is racing towards us, but you notice that it's moving more towards the uh, northeast than anything. So this really doesn't even affect it into Indiana with this uh, model until tomorrow. <coughs> Excuse me, and this would be 7 a.m. tomorrow morning before you start to see this. So we'll have to see. As I've said, this model was pretty much useless yesterday. Uh, we're just going to have to see how this all pans out. We know it's out to our west, but as for those of us here in southwest Indiana, it's this portion of the line that's going to affect us. And if we sort of back it up, you can see, uh, watch the radar here as it is filling in on this area with new development here. So we're going to have to watch for that. Again, though, the biggest part of the severe is where this Boeing section is up here, and that Boeing section up here, uh, well, that's headed off more in, in this uh, neighborhood, uh, headed up towards that way. So I'll keep an eye on it here this evening and provide you updates throughout the evening. I don't think southern Indiana has a tremendously big threat for this. If anything, it's just going to be rain moving in tonight. But, of course, rain is exactly what we, you know, do, what we just don't need if we just put on storm total uh, precipitation through this. Uh, well, actually, hold on. 
uh, the Evansville radar was out yesterday, so you won't get any storm total precipitation with this. I'd have to switch over here to the Louisville radar view to uh, get that. And it's, boy, it's taken forever to put it on. But uh, regardless here, a huge swath of uh, precipitation here is uh, what you would see if I could put this up. Uh, actually, come to think of it, I put this over on Southern Indiana weather earlier. So let me sort of go down through my, uh, my scroll. Scroll down through here. You gotta love technology when it works. Uh, uh, but regardless, uh, a whole lot of rain has fallen. Uh, over eight inches of rain for some of us. Uh, boy, I, I know I put it out this morning. I know I did. If Facebook wants to cooperate, I'll, or the radar wants to cooperate. No, well, it's not wanting to cooperate either. There it is. There we go. Let me zoom this in. Let me make this a little bigger here on Facebook so you can kind of see. There we go. I mean, you can just see here. Let me let me turn my drawing tool on here. You, you can just see the heavy, heavy swath of rain that came with this. 9.8 inches here around the Huntingburg area. Uh, just absolutely insane. <coughs> 8.7, 4.65, 6.6, and you know, the reality is with more rain uh, possibly out to our west uh, headed our way in here, well, that's just not a uh, not a good thing at all. So I'll keep an eye on this as we head into the evening, folks. Uh, just keep it tuned here to Southern Indiana Weather uh, for more updates throughout the scene, uh, throughout the time as we go through this. Again, a watch could be possible here. We'll just have to wait and see what they do. You know, the good news is I'm not really sure that they will issue that, but we'll have to see. This, again, this is going severe, headed up more towards this direction, so maybe uh, this, this portion might clip Knox County here, uh, but really everything below that, down in here in the rain-soaked areas uh, already, uh, we're going to have to wait for this really to come in for that. And that's a blessing. That's still a long ways off. And, of course, again, radar suggesting a future radar here, and some of them suggesting that it kind of breaks up before it gets here. Well, let's pray for that. All right, folks, that's it for this little uh, update, and uh, I'll have more updates for you as we head through the evening as this progresses.